the essence of life is to communicate love. Even though I'm in love. We are at 3,100 meters at the base, or not even quite to the base camp of Cerro Mercedario uh, in the high Andes, the southern central Andes. Chance, how are you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling, feeling good. Stoked. Yeah, we're stoked. We've got some uh, 50, 60 pound backpacks and we're heading up to base camp today, going up to 3,600 meters. Uh, I wish that you were still wearing your sunglasses that you just made. Oh yeah. This motherfucker, he did turn to the side. Looks great. The sun will never get me. Get onto it though. Maybe it's better earlier season when some of the smaller cracks down lower still in. Hey Chance. Hello. Just ate some dinner out here at the base camp. Guanaquito? Guanaquito, Mercedario base camp. It is January 24th, it's a Monday. Mercedario is back there above Chance's head. We got our tent set up. Just undercooked some risotto and ate it. Delicious gravel texture. Just tell us what was in the meal. Uh, we had a risotto bomb one might refer to it as uh, risotto, mashed potatoes, tuna, and a strange mayo product which we could not identify. It was called Salsa Golf. <laughs> um, but yep, that's an update for the 24th. See you tomorrow. Alright Chance, this can supplement the vlog material. How are we doing? Good. What are we doing? We are carrying gear up to Cuesta Blanca camp. Camp 1 from base camp. And there's Guanaco. We're up here uh, getting close to the Santa Cruz Fault, which uh, places Permian and Triassic rocks, the, the gray stuff back there. Uh, on top of Jurassic rocks, the late Jurassic Tordillo formation, which I don't know if we've come across yet, but uh, there's definitely some interesting geology going on, and we're just meandering our way up here. Sitting on a pile of granite, Chance and I just sampled this thing. We're at about 4,200 meters, <clears throat> Do, did a little gear haul, and now we're going to go back down to 3,600 meters and camp and then hopefully come up here tomorrow. Peace out. Beautiful, beautiful views from out here on the flank of Mercedario. Smashed flat chicken that was then like breaded and rolled. Or no, it wasn't even breaded. It was literally just rolled up and then breaded. Delicious. It looks like a, almost like a hot dog and you cut into it and it's just straight mm. chicken. Hopefully get another 12 to 13 hour sleep tonight. That's kind of in the, how she goes out I'll here. I'll have sleep for dinner. Let me have some sunscreen on your nose. Oh, I need to build a nose cone like Chance. I love you. <laughs> me? <laughs> the viewer. We are at 4,300 meters, somewhere around 14,000 feet, just a little more than 14,000 feet. What do you think about this uh, little camp we've got here? It looks pretty robust. It does. Chance said, uh, we, I guess we made one, about one quarter of this little barricade here. In here we've got our food, which uh, is we, not looking great. We just counted and we can safely budget like 1100 calories each a day. So that's nice. We'll, we'll be fine. <laughs> and I'll leave you with this. 
the essence of life is to communicate love. Wow, that's beautiful. I love you all watching this. What about you? I love you more than Caden loves you. <laughs> Ciao! but <clears throat> first morning at Cuesta Blanca, it's snowing and hailing. <laughs> Good time. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed the forecast. This was expected. Part of the plan. How'd you sleep last night? I slept pretty well. We both had weird dreams. Yeah, I had a dream that Chance opened his the top of his backpack his like 60 liter backpack and it was filled with tuna <laughs> the meat yeah shredded uh, yeah like you would like if you pop the top of a tin that's what it looked like slept about 11 hours last night looking like we're gonna be in the tent for a long time goodbye bye bye afternoon now clouds broke but it's a designated rest day so we are chilling at camp chance is lying on the ground Photosynthesizing. we just had a wonderful lunch actually um a nice 90 calorie soup with uh about 35 calories worth of saltines feels like i'm on weight watchers <laughs> On and off weather, it's freaking dinner time. <laughs> Woo! -hoo! Oh, it's been a great day, very relaxing. Just got water at the creek, which is approximately 2,000 vertical feet below our camp. Very interesting day of weather, cooking some dinner. Got a little bit of the uh, risotto <laughs> cooking out here. Gonna do some mashed potatoes, some ketchup, some tuna. Kind of the usual. We are Jay chilling. Same routine, different morning. Chances enjoying Cheers. some mate. Bluebird. Beautiful day. It's time to do a little movement today. Nice rest day yesterday. We're heading up to Piercatere. And how are you feeling today? Delightful. Are you feeling good? I'm feeling good. Legs are rested. Spry as a summer chicken? Is it a <laughs> spring chicken? <laughs> All right, peace out. We'll give you an update from Pirka. <laughs> Chance and I have had chicken fried by Zach Brown Woo! Band stuck in our head for several days. So we're playing a different song to try and we're get it. We're at 17,000 feet and it's so fucking warm. Wow. Releasing. Chance is getting fully nude. <laughs> There's a nice Penitentes Glacier. And the last thing I'll show you is a view into the country of Chile. <clears throat> Down there. The Chilean Andes. Another glacier over there. Some rock that we're gonna sample for Appetite Fission Track. And then the route for Summit Day. Mercedario is way back there. All right, notice my nose cone has been growing. <laughs> um, risotto every night. We just made a heroic <laughs> amount of food. Fuck this is yeah. the kind of meal that you eat at 5,000 meters. Ooh, sun's coming up on the ridge. Waking up at Pirka. Oh, it is so cold. <laughs> uh, maybe in the 20s now, but it was a cold night. It's like 7.30, but beautiful day. Gonna get back in the tent for a few hours. <laughs> this is how you make sure that you don't have fluid pooling in your skull at high elevation. You test your juggling and if it's if it's locked you're haste free. I don't even know the name of that glacier, do you? Uh, it's like Glacier Pirca de los Indios. Peep the spot. 
uh, probably got down to like 20, mid 20s in the tent, some frozen algae action. Chance and I just drinking some coffee, rest day, and then up tomorrow. All right, rest day at Pirka is almost over. It's Chance chilling. The only thing we did today is sample a beautiful granite for thermochronology up on the close to the ridge up there. But yeah, mostly just rested. Tomorrow is the big day. Mercedario's way back there and way, way higher than we are right now. But we're gonna give it our best shot tomorrow. Big dinner, sleep well. How do you feel about the summit? Pretty optimistic. <clears throat> Every party that we've talked to that's tried it has turned around, but yeah. we're hoping our luck will be different. Yeah, it doesn't seem like people are getting up there, but we're going to do our best. And next update will be on the flank of the mountain because it's going to be way too cold uh, to give an update when we're first getting out of here. But we're going to eat dinner. Can you guess what we're having? Risotto and mashed potatoes. Ooh, my favorite! Fucking same shit, different day. How's it going, Caden? No place I'd rather be. High Andes, January 30th, 2022. Just spectacular day out here with my buddy. Oh yeah, we're at about a 18.5, I think. At the high camp that we skipped. Going for the summit of Mercedario. Yeehaw. Stored in a box with Nutella. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We're at 6,000 meters. Five second update. We're getting pretty high, 6,300 meters. Flank of Mercedario. If you have reached this place, it means you have achieved the greatest of goals. <laughs> exceeding yourself. Now take your time to contemplate the beauty of the surrounding nature, connect with the cosmos, Ooh. rejoice, hug the person next to you. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Hold on to life as you descend and transmit enthusiasm to others. Beautiful. <laughs> we are on the summit of Mercedario. There's Aconcagua in the distance, just a couple hundred meters taller than us. We fucking did it. There's the view to the east, looking down into the Foreland Basin, the Precordillera. View to the south, Aconcagua. View to the west, all the way to the Pacific Ocean. You've got the uh, you've got the primarily Mesozoic uh, thin-skinned fold thrust belt uh, that that cuts into these deeper levels and exposes the La Ramada basement cord thrusts. Looking at the fore arc all the way to the ocean. And then looking to the north, we have uh, the Andes sprawling out, looking quite nice. The boy himself descends from the cache. <laughs> Look at all that gear we have to carry. Much more shit for us to carry. Not great. I've got very limited battery left, but Chance and I are off of the summit of Mercedario, and we decided to descend all the way back to Cuesta Blanca. So we are at our first camp, or our second camp. Uh, we from Pirca to the summit today was 1600 meters of elevation gain and from the summit to here was what was it 2700 descent something like that 2600 meters of descent such a long day chance and I are carrying rocks too so man what a sick day chance what a sick day we did it bud woohoo we are maybe the highest thermochronology samples in the Andes. Yeah. But we're here, we're gonna set up tent, eat, sleep, and then go drink cerveza tomorrow. Oh, long day. Back at the rig. Chance, what up, boy? Yo. <laughs> we're chilling. We're chilling. 
back at the rig now. A lot of you might have thought that we were just playing out on Mercedario, but we have carried some rocks off of the mountain itself for geological purposes. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> um, here, this is our summit sample, 6,700 meters. This is potentially the highest thermochronology sample ever taken in the Andes. And Don't have... mark my words on that, but 60, we're 21, yeah. 39. That one's way lighter, it's a conglomerate. <laughs> we were working out there. Uh, we've got some beautiful samples that are going to undergo the process of mineral separation Careful and mineral separation. Eventually thermochronology. And that's that. Um, thank you for joining us. Chance, any last words, buddy? We climb because they are there. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Shout out to Argentina in general. Shout out to our friends, Barbara Carapa and Pete DeSell, also our advisor, PhD advisors. And last but not least, shout out to Medicidadio for letting us summit and have such a beautiful expedition. Successful trip. Peace Woo. out.